Hello everyone and welcome to another video. Now I'm not really a fan of mobile gaming or phones in general for that matter and to be honest I don't really know that much about them. If it wasn't for the pretty decent camera that this iPhone 5S has, which I used to film some of my videos, I'd probably still have a Nokia 3310. I actually bought this from my dad for about £100 a while back and it seems that £150 is roughly the used price on places like eBay for the 16GB model. The same goes for dollars or euros. Whether you've got an iPhone, Android or Windows device, the tech inside these things is always improving and that's become increasingly more evident as mobile games start to get more and more graphically impressive. To be honest, I don't really pay that much attention to the mobile game market, but what always surprises me is when a certain developer announces that they're porting one of their PC or console titles to phones. Not a bad surprise, but an impressed surprise. And I really only thought about all this in depth when I was contacted by one of you guys over the weekend. So the message I received said, Hey Random Gaming, I have a really old computer with a Celeron and Intel GMA 950 graphics. I wanted to start playing GTA San Andreas after seeing the gameplay in one of your vids, but it runs at about 20 FPS even on low settings and resolution. Should I just buy it on my phone instead, lol? You guys are going to have to take this video very lightheartedly because it really is just a bit of fun and as soon as I spent almost £10 on iOS ports of PC games, I realised that another 10 would have bought me the cheapest AMD HD 5450 which would run most games that have been ported to mobile just fine. But if you've got a very very old PC, no PC at all, or you're waiting for your graphics card to arrive, can a mobile phone stand in as a suitable gaming device? Well, let's find out. So let's start with GTA San Andreas, the game in question. The PC version's recommended requirements include a Pentium 4 or Athlon XP, 384MB of RAM and a 128MB GPU. I've included the results from a Celeron E1200 system with Intel GMA 950 graphics to replicate the situation at the center of this dilemma. On that low end system at 640x480, the game hit 24 FPS on average, not a very pleasant experience. Although I had no real way to monitor FPS on the iPhone, I can tell you that it looked and felt much better than that with the native 1136x640 resolution. There was the occasional slowdown, but nothing too bad. Next up, it's the original Tomb Raider, a great game that requires a 1.8 GHz CPU, 512 megabytes of RAM, and any DirectX 9 GPU or above on PC. It ran just fine at 30 FPS on this PC, which is no real surprise given its age, and here on the iPhone 5S, it looked great. Honestly, I'm just happy that games like this from my childhood are now available to play on the go so that anyone who might have missed them first time round can buy them, especially with these somewhat upgraded visuals. Finally, we tested out Goat Simulator, not a particularly old title having come out just three years ago, but one that won't run on the GMA 950 as it recommends a 2GHz quad core, 4GB of RAM and a 512MB GPU. It briefly ran on the PC at about 3 frames per second, but crashed shortly afterwards. I believe the mobile version released about 3 months after the PC game, and it runs very well here. If for whatever reason you feel the need to run around a busy town as a goat, then you'll have no trouble doing so on an old iPhone. Now in all seriousness and to conclude, it just makes me happy to think that so many games have been ported to mobile devices, not just the ones shown here, but games like The Sims 3, Final Fantasy, Bully and XCOM to name a few. Just look at the prices though. You can have an enjoyable experience, yes, but before you spend your hard earned cash in the app store, you should definitely prioritise a PC upgrade. If all you have is a phone or a tablet though, then don't let me stop you guys from having fun. So thank you all so much for watching. As I said before, take this video a little bit lightheartedly. Um, I hope you enjoyed it nonetheless, and I hope uh, to you who asked that question that it has been answered. So as always, if you enjoyed this video, leave a like. If you didn't, leave a dislike. Let me know what you think about mobile gaming down below. And as always, I hope to see you all in the next one.